Hey everybody, this is a garden tour. Today is June 28th, almost the end of the month of June. Um, and this is how the garden looks as of today. Everything is growing really well. It's all lush green. Things are getting to be pretty big in places, almost gigantic in some places. Um, it's hot and humid but the weather with the rain and the heat has been helping the garden enormously everything is showing signs of producing fruits and flowers and getting bigger so let's start from this corner today the uh, lavender of course is attracting tons and tons of bees um, and the melon next to it is growing bigger it's been sending out these shoots, branches, um, and lots of flowers. I haven't seen any melons yet, but there are lots of things budding. So I have this, this blossom here, and then this baby melon here. If it's pollinated successfully, it will become a proper melon. If not, then hopefully there are other baby melons here that were pollinated and will produce fruit later in the season. Um, the peppers are doing really well now that we have hot weather. I have bell peppers growing profusely now. So there's one. This is covered with peppers actually. Um, the same with the other pepper plants they are beginning to produce lots and lots of fruits as well there you go so they're producing fruits uh, the jalapeno is doing pretty well as well i see a whole bunch of jalapenos growing in there um, some of them are ready to be harvested so i might harvest some later today and use them to make salsa or something like that lapinos are doing really well there's one that's pretty big i could harvest it now or i could wait a um, bit more let them change color um, and they'll be um, more spicy they'll have more heat and harvest them then the cayenne pepper is also producing lots of slim peppers here's one the sunflowers are growing taller by the day and they'll actually provide additional support to the bean plants that have been sending out tendrils all along the fence. I've already harvested some beans. They're producing in other parts of the garden. Um, I am beginning to see tomatoes. The tomatoes are beginning to form. These are called mortgage lifters. I have tons of carrots growing um, all over the garden at different stages some are ready to be harvested some are still forming fruits and the idea is that um, I can harvest them a little bit every week and I'll have a steady harvest of carrots whenever I need them this um, bean patch they're growing so well the beans here they're getting larger by the day I've seen lots of blossoms so I'm expecting a nice harvest of beans from here trellis system is working out really well uh, these squash plants have been growing vertically I'll, I'll come by every morning and I'll um, make sure that they are being supported well that the strings and the poles are in the right place so they are really enjoying the space that they have uh, the airflow they have 
and I am beginning to see some successful pollination so we have a, a teeny tiny squash here hopefully it will keep growing and become a full sized squash but this is what they look like they look like um, <laughs> things with the fancy hairstyle just so adorable so this is this uh, squash plant is covered with such blossoms and baby squashes as well as this I haven't harvested any of the blossoms yet to use in the kitchen because um, I want to encourage right now pollination but my hope is that at some point uh, there will be so many blossoms that I will be able to harvest some uh, they are great if you stuff them with cheese um, they just taste amazing so I'm looking forward to harvesting some blossoms to make some of those delicacies in the near future I have some clover that's been growing voluntarily in the beds and I'm letting it be I'm not pulling it out um, clover is a great cover crop and it helps fix nitrogen levels in the soil uh, all year round so if I'm not growing anything else in that space, I'm not pulling out the clover, I'm just letting it be. I have some purple burgundy beans that are being produced uh, now. I already harvested some of these and just munched on them. Um, and I did use some of the green beans in the sambar I made last night. So this is just so cool to be able to come downstairs to the garden, harvest what I need, take it right back upstairs to the kitchen and then use it in whatever meal I'm preparing. Very cool. We are definitely going to have at least one cabbage this year, which considering this is the first time ever I'm growing these successfully, it's not bad at all. And since I'm really growing this stuff to use fresh in my kitchen as is, um, at any given time, if I'm just getting a little bit of everything, I'm happy. Um, if I were growing a lot of cabbages, I would probably not be able to consume them and I might have to either compost them or figure out a way to freeze them. I could try and learn making um, kimchi, which I also know is really good for gut health. So that's something I actually might do with this cabbage is to make uh, kimchi out of it. The volunteer marigold plants that are growing here from seeds that were dropped on the ground last year. Um, I think there's a lot of value to volunteers. Um, we don't always need to put things in the ground ourselves. Sometimes it's just nice to let a plant complete its life cycle and then produce seeds for the next year's plants. Less work for you to do and more benefits for you to enjoy. The cilantro volunteer again, um, they've been producing so many blossoms and seeds. I've already been harvesting seeds and drying them to use them later in the Indian dishes that I make. The plants in the grow bags are growing well. This is a potato um, and I moved this volunteer cucumber. It seems more and more likely that this is a cucumber over here because it will have all of this trellis space to grow and spread out on. My other cucumber plant is growing really well. It's spread all along this trellis and it's been producing lots of cucumbers. Um, they're still in the baby stage but they look at to, to be getting to the point where I can start harvesting them and using them in my kitchen. So this is what I'm talking about. This um, cucumber plant, it seems to be a hybrid, although GMO free. So this is the cucumber plant. This is the name. Um, and I got it from a local store, organic store. So even though it's a hybrid, um, and I'm not sure about what kind of seeds it might produce and what kind of plants it might produce later, it's still very likely to produce 
some kind of cucumber next year if I have any volunteers from this plant but again I see lots and lots of cukes and the promise of full-blown cucumber harvests later in a few days time cool stuff this is an arugula plant that I've uh, allowed to go to seed I didn't pull it out um, it was just doing so well in this space and these seed pods are actually edible they have a bit of the the spicy arugula oops I pulled out the whole thing that's okay um, there's lots and lots more growing here but these seed pods have a spicy flavor it's not unpleasant it's pretty good um, it's right now it's full of water I was munching on it and I think that has something to do with the rains that we had but again this is good stuff you know that whatever you're putting in your body from this garden it's good for you it's helping heal the body it's providing the nutrients and the micronutrients that we all need to feel good to have energy to do things so that's one of the reasons why i i have this garden where i'm trying to grow at least some of my own food and the idea is that i can't grow everything in the garden of course i have to go to the grocery stores and buy things but if in every meal that i prepare for myself i can have even one or two ingredients from the garden then i know i'm feeding myself good stuff i know that i'm taking care of myself and i know that i'm doing whatever i can to have a wholesome healthy happy life <laughs> I think Chiki wants to go back upstairs. Maybe it's too warm for her. Right, Chiku? Yeah? Oh, we'll go back upstairs in a bit. Alright, the final part of the garden. The trellis that I had created using simple jute string is working out really well. Um, it's getting covered with bean leaves and tendrils on both sides and when they start producing bean pods um, it'll be really easy for me to harvest them because I won't have to bend over and they'll be uh, more visible hanging down from this open space so this corner again is doing so well uh, these mammoth basil seeds that I had put in are growing happily and healthily and then I went ahead and put some more of those mammoth basil seeds here because the ones that I put previously didn't seem to germinate. Um, I've been harvesting Puna Kira. I've already harvested two. And there's another one here that's gonna get to a point in a few days where I'll be able to harvest and eat it too. So yeah, this seems to work. This simple no fuss back to Eden inspired organic yard garden is doing really well again I don't use any fertilizers no sprays no insecticides no fungicides um, if something is damaged I'll I'll remove that leaf but by and large I let nature take its course I'm more of a caretaker here I'm tending to the garden um, I'm really sitting back and observing many times what grows and why it grows well, trying to figure that out and just learn from this whole process. And especially from the volunteers, because sometimes the volunteers do better than the seeds that I bring in, because they have already adapted to this climate and this soil system here. So, this is what I'm doing to create a more wholesome healthy life for me and I hope that this inspires you and if you're already growing stuff then I hope you find something meaningful and helpful from these videos um, and I hope that you also have a healthy wholesome life take care